I'm not welcome to be here. I know that. <laughs> um, okay, so as I was telling Tim before this, uh, before uh, stream started, um, so when I opened up this game, um, it does not, as you expect, default to like full screen, like in your main section. It defaulted to opening to windowed mode between my two monitors. So half of it was on one monitor and half of it was on the other, mm -hmm. which is bad and wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to op to pop out chat again so I can actually see. There we go. Um, and so then it's still in windowed mode. You can actually see in the bottom right of the screen that uh, it still has the Steam community thing there, but it's half covered by the gameplay. But half mm -hmm. isn't, so it's not actually the entire, it doesn't take up the full resolution of the window that it made. Also, I don't know what is happening. <laughs> It's a menu screen. It's animated. That makes it good, right? Okay, but what are any of the? What is this? What are these but Like, what are these symbols? Why is there a zero? What are these symbols? <laughs> a Z means Sorry. missile, I think. Uh, X is jetpack, and R is dual barrel roll. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, this was the thing that stood out to me that made this such a terrible game. If I read the reviews right, and if I've read the instructions right, this is a Flappy Bird-style side-scrolling shooter. Hey, Tim. When I'm choosing my fighter, mm -hmm. if I hit the left button, it moves right. And then if I hit the left button again, it moves left again. So apparently if there's no other option, it just goes in the direction it thinks you should be going. What are any of these ships? Like, why would I pick one over the other? One of them is red and cool? tiny. That one looks cool. I guess <laughs> I'll pick that one. I've lost. I lost already. <laughs> you didn't flap. I don't know how. Uh, X, I guess. And Z is just carpet bomb. I guess I ran into something. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, these sound effects are definitely stock. Oh! Oh, good. <laughs> That's what I wanted to happen, was a log to fall on me <laughs> from off screen, where I could not possibly react. Oh, good. I guess we just started right here, huh? How many levels were there? I think there were 12. So I, I guess I've hit a checkpoint. Oh, oh, okay. I can restart from checkpoint or from the beginning, but it didn't have text, so I didn't know what it meant, so I accidentally restarted from the beginning. Well, yeah, if they don't have text, then the different languages can't confuse people. This is a good starting point for a checkpoint. I guess just lean on the power the second you spawn in? I, I do, but I'm worried about like going too much. Oh no, you actually have to hold it down. I'll... Okay. I, I do keep forgetting that you are supposed to just hold it down all the way, or else you die. But then you have to go under the log. Mm-hmm. The ship is too big to go in a forest. Oh my god! 
you picked a very narrow ship, but it's also very tall, so I think you might have accidentally picked the one with the biggest hitbox. Alright, maybe that's it. Let me, let me restart and see if I can find one. That's better. Uh, this one is very long, but it looks good. Oh god, it's long. Um, it... He's a long... Oh, boy, that's long. So it doesn't carpet bomb, it just shoots a missile, I guess. Which, I don't know why. I don't really so I guess know you what... have to. I guess you have to strafe then? I gotta turn the volume down a little bit more on this game. <laughs> it does not have a volume, uh, like, setting as far as I know. So right now it's at two volume on Windows. It's so impossible to see what, like, you are and are not able to run into. Like, because everything looks like background, right? So, like, yeah, seeing a rock in the way, like, this... Oh, my God. This ship might be also the worst one to use in this level. Wow, I actually can't survive the checkpoint with this ship. Oh, my God. It drops like a rock, and I can't... Different ship it is! You'd think something that size would have a decent... Airfoil. Alright, this ship looks very weeny. Nope! It's very big, apparently. I love that there isn't even, like, unlocking other ships. It's just... You start with ships. Um... Good luck figuring out what they do or how to use them. Um. Okay, so this ship also can't start from the checkpoint. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna use the first ship. All right. Oh my God, it's so chunky. Oh, that's that's thick. It's also and not in the good way. Heinously slow. I guess that's good. It gives you time to dodge. I would rather die quickly than off. live at this speed. See Fast and die hard. Oh my god! <laughs> well. The most broken checkpoint I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this would be like if a checkpoint was th like a pixel above lava, and if you didn't hit the jump button immediately in whatever platformer this is, then you instantly die. Like, I still don't get, like, I can shoot? Why? What does shooting things do for me? Later in the game, there are things that shoot at you. Which you have to avoid with flappy word mechanics. So I tried to get a thing because it looked like a power-up. That was not mm -hmm. bad. I accidentally started from a checkpoint. I have negative five points, according to this. The only winning move is not to play. I'm really hoping I can fly above the screen. Because heaven forbid a broken game be, you know, broken in a convenient way. Yeah, I just want it to be broken in a way that's still enjoyable. And like, I see all these energy things, are they power-ups? Should I avoid them? I have no idea. Uh, no, I think it kills me. But I got to the yep, second checkpoint. It check looks point. like it killed you. Oh I think this ship just can't survive off checkpoints. You know, when your default ship can't survive the first level of the game, you got a crap game. At that time, I was using the wrong buttons. That one was on me. I died off screen because apparently I could go off screen on accident somehow. What am I hitting? 
Oh, the tree branch, I guess, is has a hitbox? I guess? Um... <laughs> that time I definitely didn't hit it. Oh, it was a... the meteor, I guess? I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just it says nothing. It just ends. All right, level two, I suppose. All right, let's get another very good, definitely useful ship out. Okay, I died to something again. Could not tell you what. Oh my god. I think it was a meteor. But like, how do I get past the meteors if they're random? Flap lower. I literally could not. Because it's not like a good, like, I, I always considered this style of game a helicopter. Because that's the first one that I ever saw was like, you had to like hover up and down kind of thing. And like, you can move left and right enough to, like, avoid things, but you can't mm -hmm. do that in this style of the game. And so, if something is in a collision path with you, you only have so much up and down movement that you can make because you're just pressing one button to shift your, like, acceleration up. And that's all you got. And you also can't change your where you are on the screen, left or right. Yeah. And so if you could do that, you could help dodge things easier. Why are there three sets of levels? Alright, which ship is the best out of the ones we've tried? Maybe this one. I don't remember. Literally cannot get my bearings in this level before you just die to a thing that you can't see. Like, there's a star power-up. I don't know if it's a power-up. I don't know if it's just a bonus. Sorry, I can't start from the last checkpoint, because that's an instant kill. I would rather be playing Gary's Incident, or whatever the fuck that horrible game but it's not like you see those <laughs> Even though I had to restart every like Okay, so if you shoot those ones, it knocks down the platform that's on top of them. Yeah, isn't that just intuitive? Uh no, because I don't really get to choose what I aim. So I'm still looking for a pattern because it's entirely entirely possible that coding in this is just broken. But I think if you hit an obstacle, then you're dead no matter what. But I think if an if a projectile hits you from the top, then you can survive it. Whereas if you hit it head on, then you die. Interesting. So like the hitbox is like the front of the ship? I think so, but I'm not positive. going for like the purple stars not knowing what they do or why they exist and I don't know why. Given where I've seen them put them, 
I think they might just be sucker power-ups. I'm not sure if it's something to draw your eye and get you to fly towards them, and then once you reach them, you can't survive after that. Yeah, and I can't tell if it's that or if it's like you're supposed to be able to get them and then get out and you get like bonus points. God damn it! Why are these ships so fucking big? Literally, if they just like took the ships and made them a third of their current size, this would be a playable and almost enjoyable game. <laughs> Or maybe even if these um, these uh, these obstacles were halfway through the game and they were this tight, instead of yeah. you know, level two. Yeah. I still can't believe how often these checkpoints are like, oh, uh, you picked any of the ships, so you die. Yep, that was your first mistake playing this game. Let me go back to the red ship I got, because I feel like that one might be good. fucking logs from off screen are just oh my god even this ship can't survive spawns just <sighs> this game almost looks like it was auto generated and then no one thought to play test it before posting it on steam yeah, that feels accurate. Also, I still don't understand what this screen means. <laughs> oh, oh, cool. If I press that button, it just it exits the game completely. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm, oh. gonna, I'm gonna turn it to fantastic <laughs> graphics real quick. Instead of... I wonder if I was playing on turbo, whatever that means. Let me, let me fix this game's sound again, because the game won't do it, that's for sure. I think just the game won't, in general. You know what, that... Oh my god, what is this? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna play as Iron... As, uh, I'm sorry, that's copyrighted. As Steel Men. The Steel Gentleman. Uh... Well, you're know, smaller now. I don't know if this is better or the worst thing I've ever seen. Also, you have like... I can take three hits. But also... And if you'll notice, using the go up function changes your character's, like, angle, which changes how they shoot. Oh, I can be on the ground. And you can't fly through storms. That's the difference in the mechanic. Oh. Yeah, this seems much clunkier, but at least you're making progress? Yeah, it's clunkier, but safer. Because I can just land on the ground in this version, which is very nice. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, did I just get struck by lightning? Yep. <laughs> is that... Well, fine, I'm going to be Optimus Buzzsaw. I just have a buzzsaw. I can't even press a button to make it work, it just always- Oh! Oh, I- What?! I can fire both saws! This is- 
the strangest thing to have ever been on my screen, possibly. Why does it make you go backwards sometimes? I think you talked about the green thing. I guess I have a maximum height because I was holding down the X button. Oh, no, now I don't have one. Hmm, yes, the buzzsaw's greatest enemy, trees. Yeah, you can't yeah. go over. You can't go through the trees. Yeah, you know, I, I, whenever I have to cut down a tree, I absolutely use a gun. I'm gonna use like the a real tree. American. Ah, yes, the android policeman. Yep, I saw it too. You have to like, if a storm is nearby, you have to like already know whether or not you need to go over it or under it. And if you don't know the answer, you lose. So how are you liking these uh, very well rendered, like wild tangent um, era graphics? I like to point out that this looks exactly the same as when I ran the game on fastest. It does look a little sharper. Tim, there's like seven different or seven graphic settings. And I went from the bottom to the top. And you see it looks a little sharper. Mm -hmm. What are the other six graphical settings? Each one is like two pixels less sharp than the others. Tim, that's 14 pixels of difference. That would be like an incredible difference. So here's the fun thing. That storm I keep dying on, I have to go over it. But I don't think I can. Fair, that is how inelastic collisions work. Yeah, but it shouldn't stop my forward momentum, I've decided. Okay, I know how to survive. I just need to have one shield left by the time I get to it. So it seems you lose points for every enemy you leave on the screen and gain points for making progress through the level? I, I think if I kill enemies, I get points. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, all right, that was the end of the level they've decided. I think you also get a bunch of points if you don't kill any enemies, or maybe if you kill every enemy. I'm not sure, because they only use pictures. Yeah, I think that's the um, extermination bonus. Oh, 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 I guess this is a new type of one. You've gone from playing helicopter to helicopter gunner. Yeah. And all I can control is the angle and if I am shooting. Is there any reason not to just hold down the fire yeah. button always? I 
fact, that is what I have been doing. The only time I stop holding the fire button is when I forget which one is the fire button because I've been holding them both down. I also beat that level. That's cool. Super glad that it just ends. That's still the funniest thing. No! You told it to replay, didn't you? Yep, and so I immediately quit and started the next level. <laughs> Now you're playing is um, Eve. Wait, my my bullets are just like bouncing off some of these enemies. Like they're missiles and they just like hitting and then that's it. Mm-hmm. So I think the stars actually are like telling you where the checkpoints are, but you don't actually have to hit the star to get the checkpoint. There's also a bonus at the end that I think gets higher the more stars you've collected. Ah. What just... <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I hit the water and then I ceased to be. Well, yeah, robots don't like water. Also kills me, I guess. I really wish I knew what is and is not lethal in this game. There is no help. I think there's a missile stuck in me. <laughs> and there's also just some that are stuck over in front of me. And it's causing me to move at an excruciatingly slow speed. <laughs> and if I shoot more missiles, they simply explode instantly in front of me. seems to have fixed itself, which is neutral. shield and I've made it past the bad place. Hmm. 
Hmm. I see. So the missiles are in my way again. I just, you know, shoot them. I am trying. And they have weighed me down to the point where I cannot go over the missiles. Doctor, I have a missile stuck inside me again. Oh, now I've died to the water that I've been under for like 10 minutes. Unless you want to keep playing, I think we can call it. But Tim, this game is so good and fun. Question mark? So this is exactly what I want to play while I'm in quarantine. <laughs> Nothing good. Just something to make me wish that, you know, I was dead. I'd also like to point out that that ant enemy that I bypassed deals damage to me even though that there's no way to avoid, like even though I don't touch him or anything. You also lose points for not killing him. Yeah, but I literally can't kill him. Well, that sounds like your problem. <gasps> I think I just took fall damage. I'm like, I'm actually sad no, that No, there I... was a storm above the top of the screen. You can just barely see the lightning. Oh, Tim, it's time to start chapter three. Where I'm a tank, I guess. Okay. This is the slowest tank I have ever seen in my life. Can't tanks go like 50 miles an hour sometimes or something? Faster. How come this tank can't go? I guess it's a World War I model? Alright, I'm done with that one. Let's move on to the possibly worst game. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck me! Doing it! I'm doing it, fuck you! <laughs> Shit! <laughs>